Well, Beverly and I are currently in Dundalk Bay. Uh, I hope I have pronounced that correctly. Beverly has uh, had me saying Dundalk at least three or four times already this morning. Um, but uh, we came in here for the, to anchor. Um, we put the tripping line on because there's a good few um, pot boys about and they usually indicate rocks although on the chart it indicated that the seabed was mud so that's why we've put the tripping line on just to be cautious but um, it was a really peaceful anchorage um, and uh, but I would suggest that you use a lee sheet because we did get swell in through the night but very gentle swell rather than oh my goodness I can't sleep swell because we both slept very well and uh, Beverly especially so. Big red boy just behind us. Yeah, got a big red boy. So I'm going to do 10 degrees um, this way. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's see where 165 gives us on the wind. Right, it's going to give us another 5 degrees. We just have a look. I can easily come out actually another 10. That should give us a better angle to the wind. Yeah, let's do that. Let's try to the seal up and see if the apparent wind angle changes. Okay. Okay. On the knuckle. Yeah. Sheeting in. Let's see where that. Uh, make sure that's locked up. That's in pretty tight. It's got a luff on it. Six that way, touch then, so the luff goes. I think you have to five go degrees that way. I think you have to go where the boat wants to go, not where you want to go. I understand that, but it's just that we want to sail, so we have to um, go with the wind. We do. Well, it's lopping again. I'm going to do another couple of degrees. Yeah, do that. You've got loads of room. I can see. Right, okay, so I'm doing another couple. I've done about five. I'll go forward. The uh, burning line's caught the thing. Right, okay. Right, well, shall we go with it and see how we do? Right, I think the engine can come off then. Yeah. Hey! Ah, oh, these Beverly and I. I'm admitting to Worcester at the moment. Oh, we're turning the two right with wasses, haven't we? <laughs> well, it's been so long since we've done any sailing that when the boat's over at 10 degrees, we feel like we're hanging on by our fingertips. 10 degrees, that's nothing! That's normally what we aim for. Oh, Lord, it just shows how to practice you can get. Yeah, 10 degrees is a nice sailing uh, angle of dangle. And, and we're doing nicely, we've got like 5.3 knots. Well, I, I'm fine with that, but it's just like... The, boat, oh. the boat's on her favourite point to sail. She's doing 5.3 <laughs> knots close hauled. Yeah. Oh. And it is this boat's favourite point to sail. It is. 
But golly, what a pair of wusses! <laughs> Okay, we're ready. Okay. What do I have? Oh yeah. <laughs> you don't mind laughing. Yeah. You wonder what you're doing. I nearly asked you, right? What do I have to do here? <laughs> oh Lord, I can't believe I was going to ask that. Okay. Is the crew ready? Uh, almost. I'm just going to move the um. Right, traveller centred. Normally what we do is we sit down there. Thank you for reminding me. Okay, ready? Ready! Ready, tacking! We're over. I was going to say, we're a bit far north. I'll do. We're going away from the land. Yes. Ten or fifteen minutes of this sort of do, yeah? Yeah, we're not as fast on this uh, Yeah, but we might pick up. <sighs> she's heavy because we've got her loaded. Yeah, we're 3.9 knots though on this Okay, well I'm going to bring the traveller over. She's not as tight, she's not as close hauled as she can be. Okay. There we go. That's increased the speed. We're four knots now. Right, well there we go. You know. Angle of dangles 10 degrees. Yeah, 4.1. So it's added, just by changing the traveller, it's added a 0.2 of a knot. Okay. Holy God, I might have to ease that off. I think you are going to have to ease that off. Well, we've just put a reef in the uh, main. Maybe we should have put and, two in. Uh, I think we're thinking of putting two in. <laughs> because uh, we're seeing white caps. And, um, but we have reduced our speed to, oh, 5.2 knots. <laughs> What's our angle of dangle? 10 degrees. Our angle of dangle is 10 degrees and that's where we like to be. Um, so we'll see how that plays out. But our... Uh, there may be a second reef going in. Reefing under sail went okay. But we we'll, might have to put in another. But anyway. Well, Beverly and I are tacking down the coast. And we're currently on port tack. Now, um... Of the two, Port Tack is really taking us the direction we want to go um, and is really, really working for us. Whereas Starboard Tack, I feel like I get battered quite a lot because I'm having to point uh, Salty Lass into the waves. Um, and um, it, it just batters you a bit. But we're getting on with it and um, we should be, we're going to go into Scaries. I did consider Lamb Bay Island, but with the direction that the wind is coming uh, from, Scaries will suit us quite well. So that's what we're going to do. just approaching Scaries and um, which is where we're going to anchor and um, I was just thinking to myself um, about our trip down to Scaries last year. This year we have sailed 
um, apart from an hour or two here and there. Um, but we have sailed it and it's taken us three days. <laughs> Whereas last year we did the whole lot in one motor. Yeah, but it was absolutely as dull as ditch water. It took us, 15, it took us 15 or 16 hours. It did take us 15 or 16 hours. We did the whole lot in one motor. Whereas what we've done uh, this time is we've done about three six hour sails, do you think? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we've done about three six hour sails and we're just coming to the end of our last sail. <laughs> and I can tell you now, I'm looking forward to getting in and getting a hot dinner down my tummy. Well, Beverly and I are currently in Scaries and um, we're not going to be able to film um, much of the passage on. Uh, we're only going to go to Howth today. Um, we're hoping to meet up with one of our subscribers. So if you ever do uh, notice us on um, marine traffic and um, you're, we're going by your way, do give us a shout. Um, we do try and um, meet up with people if they um, ask us. So we're going to hopefully see one of our subscribers. But um, we haven't got enough charge in the cameras because we were sailing. And because uh, we're leaving early. And because we're leaving early, uh, we've not been able to charge the cameras. But on the good news, um, the weather has got to the stage where we are just literally at the point where we can charge all our equipment. Oh, there's some good news with the weather because... Okay. Well, no, I'm talking about the sunshine, Beverly. Yeah, I'm living on the boogie. <laughs> yeah, basically, um, we always um, prioritise our batteries for the boat. And uh, once we've charged the batteries for the boat, then we can charge other equipment like um, camera equipment and stuff like that. And um, we haven't been able to get to that stage, but we are now just at that point. But we've got nothing charged and we're off. The uh, ceilings turned out to be better than I expected. <laughs> Last time we came down this way we took a right beating and um, that was on my mind I have to confess. I was quite apprehensive this morning about coming out here because I remember the last time we came out here and we did take uh, quite a thumping in this stretch of water. Again, you can use to take the lazy sheet and it's lying loose on the deck. Uh, one of the things we learned is don't leave your sheets lying around. That's it, you're fine. Um, we had a reefing line that was flying around a bit loose yesterday and I nearly pulled the um, nearly pulled the seal bag off, off, off the boom and I have actually damaged the seal bag, I've actually ripped it in two and one, uh, just a, about that length. So, so as soon as we get a calm day, I'm afraid our sewing machine is going to be out And again. the seal will be off and we'll repair the bag. But um, no, it's actually against all expectation turned out to be a lovely day. The sun is warm when you're in the sun. The sea, although a little bouncy, the boat's not remotely bothered by it. She's holding her course beautifully. We've got two reefs in the Jenny. We've got three in the main because the gusts are like um, 22 to 25 knots. So, um, yeah. Beverly is a happy bunny. We're just passing uh, Lamb Bay Island. And it was somewhere that I was considering anchoring at. Um, but tomorrow is supposed to be a lot very gusty tomorrow. Tomorrow's meant to be a bit of a blow, isn't it? Uh, not particularly mega blow, but a bit of a blow. So what we've decided to do is um, go to health tonight and tomorrow night. Because tomorrow night we would have to be uh, in a, yeah. a marina. One of the things about this part of the coast is it can be quite exposed. There's not very many areas you can dive into for shelter. 
Um, really, the worst wind condition to come down this coast is easterlies. <laughs> of course, we've got southeasterlies at the minute. <laughs> um, southerlies and southeasterlies aren't good, you know, and now anything in that quadrant of the compass really is best to avoid it in this area if you can do so. But we're lucky today. We've got this lovely little sheltered spot uh, between Lambay, Malahide, uh, Scaries and Howth, and we're just going south. And uh, thankfully it is more pleasant than I expected. Yippee doo dah. The thing about downwind sailing is that you stop feeling the wind on your back. But when you stop moving, nature reminds you that that wind is still there. Fortunately for us, we were well fendered and Salty Lass was fine. <laughs> At the start of this vlog, I said I was going to be at house today. Well, I'm not. I'm in Malahide. Um, we wanted to go to Howth, um, but we contacted the marina and we wanted to be in for two nights. Uh, we contacted Howth and um, to cut a long story short, <laughs> there was no room at the inn. <laughs> Or no room in the marina. Uh, they could do, they could uh, put us up tonight, uh, but because they've got an event on tomorrow, uh, they literally would have nowhere for us to go. So rather than trying to move the boat and all that sort of stuff, we contacted Malahide. They said that they could put us up for two nights. Now we hadn't reached Malahide, but we were about an hour away and we were at high tide so we know that this is on a bar so we had to put the engine on and we motor sailed so we were doing a cracking speed motor sailing but we got in but when we got in <laughs> oh it was hilarious um I said I wanted to go on um, the inside of the pontoon, not even thinking about the wind. <laughs> oh God! So the wind was blowing us off, and I was a right hoo ha. I had to get her off at the front of the boat. <laughs> anyway, hopefully, we've got that on video for you. <laughs> 